Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. You got a video today from Chat Clips. Man kicks out his wife after DNA proves he's not the father of their child. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ask me that chow. It's chow time. Ma, I don't care. How long have we been together? I literally do not care. Check no! It out. Hey, what's going on guys? Shot Clips here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is absolutely wild. This man is confident he's not this girl's father. Not my daughter. She's not mine. Nothing like me. Nothing like me. She's not my daughter. Period. She's not mine. When he don't get what he wants, I'm not his daughter. He just been a big absence in my life. Uh, her mom, me and her, we got to dating. Wasn't no relationship going on. It was just a hidden quick thing. My mm. mother always told me that he was Quick my father. Thing. She had no denial of him not being a father. She hasn't messed with nobody else. She was the neighborhood, bro. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let, let, hey, excuse me. Let's be respectful. Excuse, okay, excuse, you know who her father is? Could you get this to her, please? This, you look at her and you tell me. This is me. a photo of a man? Yes. It's her father. You know why I say that? Because that's for the simple fact Because I caught him and her mom having... That is my great-great-uncle. I pulled up in the yard, family house. The door was cracked, it was open, I walk in. The bed is sitting right there, right in front of the door, it's a small apartment. Smack it, they getting it, they getting it. Next thing I know, he hear the door open, he turn Smack around it. and look and see me. She raised her head up. All I did was look and shook my head and walked out. Your mother maintained without a doubt that Mr. Lewis was your biological father. Yes, sir. She never told you any different? No. You are not the father. Oh, oh God. There's a lot of clapping, he said. Right there. <laughs> That's him right there. Oh, my God. Thank you. And this is exactly Be what quiet. happens when you have a promiscuous woman. She's not only hurting herself, but she's hurting everyone around her, including her own daughter. Lying to her, making her think that this random man is her father. But like I said in the beginning, this man was super confident. It, it really a... technically is just some random man, isn't it? Any doubts. But I guess all this girl can really do is just wipe her tears and go cry to her own mother. A little deeper, are we sending our sons out into the world to go be with women that already have children. Would you so would you suggest that to your child? I wouldn't suggest it, but if it happened, I'm not no, going to ostracize him. No, I didn't him. ask that. I asked, would you suggest it? As a mother and you, with you, him, as a father, no, I'm are not you suggesting it. to your son to go be with a woman that already has a kid? Okay, the answer is no. Now what? Every woman knows the answer to this question, but they just don't want to say it or admit it. Every single mother knows that they don't want their son ever dating a woman who has also children. A fresh start is always the best. Divorce. Yeah, they don't want their children to do it, but if they have children, they, they still want a man to do it for them hypocrisy i have two kids the last thing i want to be is divorced with two kids and 30. that's oh my crazy God. but we're gonna be 30. we have two more years left i know i have three so what are you doing for these two years you gonna be a hoe i have to do a hoe yeah maybe maybe <laughs> i will i know you said you married young and you have your two kids already and you're divorced isn't that what divorced people do after that just sleep around and have fun. I feel like I haven't been a hoe yet, but I might have it in me a little bit later. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I want to get married again. Get the I'm rocks. like such a lover girl. A I just want to like please have a happily ever after. This woman did have the dream family. She was successful. Looks they like had beautiful nice kids. Look like she had a loving husband. But you decided to throw all that away for what? For fame? And now at your age, you're also gonna be ranking in a high body count. Was this really worth it? DNA test has done more harm than good to the society. At this point, medicine ban DNA tests. In fact, Everybody should stop conducting DNA tests. The only women that have problems wow. with DNA tests are the ones who are cheating. So instead of us stopping DNA testing, how about we just stop cheating? The minute you wake up... She's in for that France raw. Text me. The minute your eyes do this, text me. I need that good morning text out the Shut way. Up. I need to know I'm the first thing that you think about when you wake up. No. Oh, hell no! You need to be like this. And if I don't get it, I think you hate me and you can have a good rest of your life. Gentlemen, don't follow Thank these God. instructions. You'll become a simp. And sadly I'm to say, this woman also won't find life. it attractive, even though she says that she wants this. If you text her every single second of every hour, you'll just seem too desperate. I'm not dating a man that does not come from a two-parent household. I don't care what race you are. You came from a two-parent household? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the hypocrisy in this clip. But then again, this is... No, I, it's hypocrisy, but in dating preferences, I don't see it being a bad thing like so sometimes you like things and you don't do it yourself 
Sometimes you're a smoker, you don't want your partner to smoke or your your girlfriend to smoke. I don't I can see that. I can see that. This one, she wants a good household. Yes, she came from a shitty household. She knows that a two parent household is going to be better, so she just wants better for herself. I get it. And this I I think we bash people too much when they want better for themselves. Yes, they may not be better themselves or came from better. Doesn't mean you don't want better though, right? I mean, just saying. This is something that women do quite often. They don't ever hold themselves accountable. That's what you're gonna do today? Yes, I am, yes. I mean, again, can't really hold yourself accountable on that one. You didn't come from a two-parent household. What are you gonna do? Like, it is what it is. Say words. I'm gonna go a nigga that could go for rounds. I don't want a nigga that could go for one round and tap out. I don't, that's not what I'm settling for today, I'm sorry. Wow, I think I, now, now I do one round. Isaiah, you don't only fuck one round. Good, Isaiah. I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Please. Okay. No. Yo, Jasmine, please. No. I don't, please. Yo, can no. we just go out? Can we? My dude is crying on the phone, begging for her back while she's just admitting that she wants to cheat on him. Bro, go find someone else. You cannot be this desperate where you think this woman is your only option. She will never find this attractive in the slightest. Guys and just me. Are you in college? Yes, of course. All right, so look, what, what year are you in? My freshman. freshman. Obviously. So how you freshman. like it so far? College only go for the parties. If you've been there so far, what's your craziest college confession? <laughs> um, no comment. Um, actually just me and this is exactly why there's so many fathers out there that just don't like when their daughters go away to college no they're not crying because well they're gonna miss you they're crying because they know that you're gonna come back a totally different person this is also exactly why i say to anyone who's dating a girl who's dorming in college and their relationship bro because she's mostly gonna cheat while she's in there what's well, your goal here tonight well, what is your well, mission i've been the most amazing husband for the last 20 years right? and the bitch is divorcing me like and, and she's not doing it nice she's doing it in the worst possible way a person could ever divorce somebody for the first time in 20 years i hope to find the cleanest shaved I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> this is absolutely so sad. And judging by what he is saying, I, I get the feeling, and it, and it is sad. Like, men work so hard to provide for these whores. And I'm like, we break our backs, we put in our lies, we do unsavory jobs. And then the thank we get is. Give me half your shit. It seems like she's definitely taking a lot of his money after this divorce. This is exactly why gentlemen get a prenup or just don't get married. Would you ever give a chick a second chance if she cheated on you? If she heals the soul, I'll give her a shot. You would be considered a simp. Sometimes yep. having a pure heart, you always like to give people that second chance. Also, if she's uh, uh, bad, she's bad. She bad, she bad. That's no okay, more story. Sometimes you can't do better. What? Oh wait, but you gotta have what more self. You, have more so you gotta have more self confidence in yourself. I don't think you do. She bad. She bad. Fuck the self confidence. She bad. She bad. I'll risk it all. Come on now, dog. These men are just simps and absolutely stupid. They're thinking with the wrong head over here. Stop treating women with bad personalities, right? You're being. You know there are women that were like describing themselves to me. I'm bad, and I was just like, what? I'm bad. I'm Instead of saying a bad bitch or a boss babe, now they just call themselves bad. Guys. Bad. Basically feeding bad behavior. No matter how a woman looks. They should just call themselves badong. You know, bad and wrong. If she's disrespectful, I'm leaving. I'm gonna get a lot of backlash about this post, right? But there's a lot of dads out here that are not dead beats, right? Yep. But the bitter baby moms make mm. it so unbearable to co-parent with these women and try to raise these children that they are pushing the fathers out of these kids' lives, right? And we get a lot of unrealistic people that'll say shit like, no matter what she does, it shouldn't affect your relationship with the child. Let me tell you something. I am a black man out here in society. It's hard enough just being a black man, making it to work and coming home without getting shot and oppressed by police and all the other demons that's in, in, in the environments that we live in. Now, not only do we gotta jump through the hoops of being a black man out here in society, but we gotta come and have a war with you as well, just to do the right thing by our kids. Let me say this once and for all, our responsibility is the kid. We don't have to give you extra money for you. We don't even have to act like we like you. If the kids are old enough to make the phone calls, then there is no reason for you to be involved 
at all. Take your emotions out of it. It's about the kid. And when you do this nutty shit and this bitter shit and you're worried about who he fucking, who he seeing, who's at his residence, what girlfriend he got, what chick she, he got around braiding your daughter here and all of this weird shit, that's where the confusion comes in. Let these men that want to be fathers father their kid without you being a fucking headache. Stop pushing these black men out of their kid's life. It takes a village. And little boys need their dads and so do little girls. But this guy's making so much sense. So much and yes, sense. I said this before in the past on this channel. There's a lot of women that always like to play the victim, saying that their dad is a deadbeat. They're a sad single mother. The dad just wants to go get some milk and never want to come back to take on the responsibility of having a child. That's just really not the case. Sometimes a father really does try his best to stay in the picture, but there comes a point where he just rather prefer his own peace and his own sanity than dealing with a woman who is weaponizing their kid. And yes, a lot of women will do this. They will brainwash and weaponize that child to play emotional games with the father. I mean... There's a lot of women that are so maniacal. They know that your children are the end all be all for a lot of men. That's why they use them as pawns. When you get caught cheating on a sneaky vacation. And believe that's the woman that is cheating with him, maybe? Or. Now, this is just absolutely hilarious bro wipe those tears stop recording right. who are you trying to play victim for you're only crying because you got caught you weren't crying when you were on vacation cheating were you come on five kids all your kids live with you yes okay Four so five. there should be child support danger in, right danger. what does that add to your income one thousand dollars a month is no. pretty much he placed the divorce order in another state and it's become impossible for him to voluntarily agree to give texas jurisdiction he's purposely not doing it so that i can't get the actual income i need for the children he was the father of all five He's the father of two, and two, the two oldest. What about the others then? There should be child support. Like 370 a month. Okay. I don't receive all of that. I believe there are two other children unaccounted for. Right. I don't get child support for both of them. Why? It's... Her dad is completely evading. They've tried locating him like four times and he's a chameleon. I don't think you have the best pick in men. I do not. Okay. That's why I'm single. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I actually give her a ton of props for at least explaining where she was wrong and how she chooses bad men. Yeah. She's owning up to it. A lot of women don't even do this. This is exactly why a lot of women gotta be selective with who they're sleeping with and who they're having children from. Because it seems like they have high standards when it comes down to everything, how much a man makes and the kind of car he drives. But when it comes down to his personality and if he's gonna be a good father, they just don't even look into it. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. Are you guys like dating? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, Joey. All right, yeah. I'm why are you trying to look at it? No, no, no. <laughs> Does she just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Does Joey lead that? Does she go to Bro, I swear she would have been getting gas by a nah, right nah, now. I ain't gonna lie. Don't be a Joey. Oh, nah, Joey, you yeah, seen this? Bro, you lead that gas. That was bad. That was bad, bro. That was bro. bad, bro. <sighs> that is the biggest red flag ever and honestly I would have kicked out of the car because she's for the streets She decided to disrespect you right on camera during a live stream Heck that relationship is probably already over judging by how much backlash that man got This really does show though that a woman is really willing to switch and ditch her man for someone who has more success and fame It's a sad world out here I, see your it phone. Is. I don't care why are you asking me that? Can I go through your phone? Like, I'm gonna go check your Facebook, your Instagram, I'm gonna check everything Come on I don't care. How long have we been together? I literally do not care. Here. So you don't care what I check? I can check literally everything that I want to check. Yes! Now, Why I, are you doing the move? Now, if I go check this Target card. No! 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 What? No, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no. whoa, whoa! Give me the phone! No, 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 no. you handed me the phone. No, 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 no. You handed me the phone. You said messages, Instagram. You did not say nothing about I'm Target. I'm checking everything. No. I want to no. check everything. You know, you know what? She loyal. Just, just loves Target. That's all. I'm not gonna hate on her too much. Give me the I'm phone. Good. Give me I'm the good. Phone. I'm good. No. I need no. to check. No. No. Give me the phone. 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 Give me the ph
No, you cannot have my phone. No. Give me the phone. I need the phone. I'm checking. No, no. It's like that for real. So you don't want me checking your Target card, really? No, I don't want you checking my Target card. No. Because it's something in it that you finna buy, right? No, it's not. Give me the phone. Don't need to see. No. You don't need to see. Now, I'm super glad she didn't care about what was on her phone. It just comes down to bills. Even though, yes, bills are a huge red it flag if she's spending thing. a lot of money. But hey, it's better than her cheating, in my opinion. You can't even save your you yeah, Is it really better? You can't even save, can't even save your lips. Girl, your lips been more open than you ever opened the Bible. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? Who's <laughs> this? Yeah, little bro was definitely not taking any L's this day. He made sure to put her in her place, and honestly, I might have to use that one in the future. Mr. Pace, how did you find out that she slept with your best friend? Well, that's interesting. Uh, we were actually in a heated argument at the time that it occurred, but it kind of just got blurted out to me that Mr. Randolph could be a potential father for Prince. Wait a minute. So you're in a heated argument as a couple, and just out of the blue she yells, and by the way, your best friend could be Prince's father? Correct. It was very emotional for me, being that it's my best friend and this is my woman. Understandably. Upon meeting with him, we kind of... Are these people really best friends? Like, for best friends to be sleeping... I actually even have a story about this. One of my good friends from high school, he has a best friend that slept with his girl. So it's not something that I'm even like, you know, shielded from, from my own group of people. I see this too. What is up with best friends? Get some help. I all agreed, me and him agreed that we definitely needed to find out what was going on. I just want him to be able to understand that. And I am woman enough to admit that I made that mistake. And I want us to go forward from this situation, regardless of the results, regardless of, even though in my heart, I hope that it does show that he's care. the father. I just want us to still be Give able to broke, be a family as Kristen. we are. Mr. Pace, you are not his father. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, uh. Continuing on with the next result. It has also been determined by this court. Mr. Randolph, you are not. <laughs> yeah. Bro, ditch everyone. Forget that friendship and forget that woman. You owe them absolutely nothing and there's no reason for you to stay. I'm absolutely happy you pushed that woman away because she's trying to, I guess, console him and make him feel a bit better. But you're probably the last person he wants to see right now. But at the end of the day, it's the same story. Men are the only ones who are a true victim in this case. And there's no compensation from the government in the slightest. The, the amount too. of money he spent the on those two. Remember, the kids are the biggest victims in my opinion because they're going to live miserable lives children will never be given back to him <laughs> and this woman will just walk I away living her life alone that. she's not being punished and heck this is exactly why a bunch of women are doing this no one's holding these women accountable but anyways like always this is just my reminder to always get your dna test done even if you trust that woman you just never know dna test mandatory for every man that watches this channel if you're not getting it done i don't think you watch my channel enough Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Make it to the channel.